welcome back to another video here on the Dave Budget FM channel. It's time for another Trophy Hunter video, as you can tell by the trophy cabinet being open and the League 2 trophy sitting there nicely. This is the save where we try and win every domestic trophy in the English game. So, League 2, League 1, Championship, Premier League, Cowboy Cup, Papa John's Trophy, FA Cup. So far, so good. One season down, one trophy won. Let's have a look at how we've been getting on in Season 2 as we uh, try to adjust to life in League 1. As we can see here, front and centre in the middle of the table there, we have got the League table. This is a very, very pretty side as far as I'm concerned. Played 15, won 10, drawn 3, lost just the 2 games. Really, really positive and really strong start of for the season. In those 15, we've scored 26 goals. We're, we're four points clear from Derby, um, who obviously, uh, the first season, had a negative 21-point uh, disadvantage. But, yeah, we are we're doing well. We've started really, really well. Um, the Calvo Cup, we've crashed out of the Calvo Cup in the second round against Port Va against uh, Sheffield United, sorry. Um, and... To be honest, I'm not bothered about that. We're never going to win that until we're sort of top-end championship Premier League side. Um, so that's not an issue. That's not where I'm uh, looking for success in this season. This season, I'm looking for, obviously, the League One trophy as champions. Going up as second or playoffs, no good for this save. But also, and more importantly, this is our last chance with Port Vale if we go up to get the Papa John's trophy. If we get up into the championship, no more Papa John's trophy. So we really, really need to make sure that this is the season for us, that we get this nailed down. If we go up in second in um, second place, fine, we'll go up, we'll carry on, but that's when we still need to start looking. We need to drop back down to League One at some point and get the championship trophy. One or the other, I, I think, to be honest, I think I'd probably take Papa John's and either not go up or, or come back down again at another point. But there we go. Going through the um, season, like I said, first game of the season was a, up against Shrewsbury. Now with this one, we started really, really well. 14th minute took the lead. They knocked us back. We got to uh, lead just after um, so halfway through the second half. And then towards the tail end, they got a second one back. It it wasn't even fair. It's been brutally honest. They had two shots on the target and scored with both of them. Um, we dominated. We dominated possession. We dominated chances. Our XG was massively higher. 16 shots, 8 on target. It's a really good percentage. Well, every other shot on target, I like that. Um, we just couldn't end up with um, seeing it out, which was kind of disappointing. After that, as I said, we lost to um, Sheffield United in the League Cup. But then we went on, on a lovely little 4-1 league spell, uh, beating Bolton, Lincoln, Reading and Northampton. The Reading game is one of the ones that, was, that, that stands out there. These are the guys that are a big team in that little league. Um, and we, 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 again, we bossed possession. We had more chances. We had more shots on target. Uh, Shodipo, he's coming at right right wing. Um, and the dozy over on the left there, they are being really, really lethal for us. Ricky J. Jones didn't bag this time, but he has been on fire again for us. We've started our Papa John's Trophy um, journey this time around. We have played Accrington, we have played Oldham, um, and we have played two, and we have won two. Absolutely smashed Oldham, 4-1. Accrington, we, we, we sneaked a 1 0 win, uh, which is, is quite apt, seeing though just three weeks later we played them in the league and they get handed us our first league defeat. Um, the Accrington game was. We, it was a fair result, let's be brutally honest. Uh, we, we didn't perform going forward. Um, I get 14 shots, makes it look as like we did. Seven on target, every other one on target. Again, it's good, but we just we just couldn't put it through. They had, again, 12 shots, six on targets. 
their XG was 1.3, ours is 0.57. So that tells you a lot. Our shots were from distance. Um, they were not good, high quality chances. But there we go. They handed it. They scored earlier, the fourth minute. We equalised halfway through the second half, and they scored deep, deep into uh, extra uh, injury time to 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 take the win. It it, it would fit possession was fifty fifty. It's a fair result. We mustn't grumble. We were never going to go through the season defeated, so that's uh, it's not too bad there really. Um, apart from that, the draw against Shrewsbury and the draw against Forest Green. We were, in the first two months, we were riding high. We were, we were chasing Derby's coattails, admittedly. Uh, but then when we come into October and the last month that we're looking at here, Portsmouth, Wickham, Wimbledon, Burton, all league wins. We went five in a row in October. Six, if you take into account the last game in uh, September. Six games won in a row really really good uh, then we uh, we went to crew and the crew game was was one where w once again we we absolutely dominated the chances 17 chances five on target xg of 1.86 they had four shots three on target scored with two of them um another one of those games where we just couldn't seem to put it right. Too many people had off games. Uh, maybe my own fault. I shuffled the pack a little bit. Um, rested some players because we had had a lot of games in a row. Um, changed the right back. Changed one of the centre backs. Changed my cent uh, holding midfielder. Changed my left winger. Changed my striker. And I think we just too many changes. I'll, I'll hold my hand up and uh, give me uh, the, the blame on that one. But... We live and learn, we moved on, um, and we finished off the, the, the month of October with a, a lovely win against Leighton Orient and then uh, a war of attrition, nil-nil against Wigan, uh, where we had a lot of chances, but they gave us as good as they got. Their, their five chances were were good, high-quality chances. Um, but it, it's... Look. I'm top of the league after 15, three months into the season, um, I'm top of the league. I would have taken that all day long if you'd have given it to me at the start of the season. Obviously, I would. So, it's looking well with regards to goals. Ricky Jade Jones is joint highest goal scorer. 12 appearances, 9 goals. He has been absolutely lethal for us. Um, he has also scored three in two games in the Papa Johns. So, yeah. He's one that I'm going to keep. I'm going to want to keep him as often and for as long as I can. Peterborough, I can't see letting him go again and again and again. He's only 19, so that may be on on my side here. He's out of contract next year, so hopefully, hopefully they're going to let that ride. He won't want to resign, and we can uh, we can get him in, but we'll see. With the other transfers that have happened this year. Leaving out, Jake Taylor went on loan to Salford. Nelson Agho has gone to Gateshead. Johan Zuma has gone to uh, New York in France for 50k, possibly rising to 70. Here's the big money move, uh, which is nice. So he costs us absolutely nothing. Uh, Darren, Shelbourne, uh, Darren Gibson's gone to Shelbourne for 700 quid. Um, and then the others went to sort of beginning of or, or during last video. Coming in, we've not spent a lot of money at all. In fact, on the 15 people who have come in, a lot of people, but I needed to refresh the team, get rid of the deadwood. Those that were good enough for League 2, not necessarily good enough for League 1. And, and obviously it's, it's working because the league table doesn't lie. But from those 15 that we brought in, I have spent money on just two. The big, big money signing is Gabriel Osho from Luton, uh, centre-back. He come in. He cost me, cost me eighty five thousand, possibly rising to one hundred and eighty thousand, but he has repaid that in spades. Really, his, his average over twelve appearances is seven point three three. Papa John's average is eight point three. So he's he's been an absolute rock alongside Elise, who come back on loan uh, from last season. The other one I spent money on is Lars Dendonka. 
from Brighton, yes, Premier League Brighton, Lars Dendonka came to us, 75 grand each cost us, and again, there's another one that really is repaying that fee in, in, in spades for us, an average of 7.03 on 13 appearances. He's, his passing's sitting there at 93% and a 75% tackling win rate. For a ball winning midfielder, he's winning three out of what, four tackles. Oh, I can't ask for more than that. And then 93 over nine <laughs> for every 10 passes, more than nine are getting through. It, it's I can't ask for more than this guy. He has been an absolute revelation there. With the others that have come in, um, another high profile one, Carl Jenkinson, former uh, Forest, Arsenal, West Ham player, came in on a free transfer. Uh, it made three right backs I've got, so I was a little bit um, wary of maybe bringing him in, but his experience, I think we have got a very, very young squad. His experience, I thought, may be absolutely um, invaluable. And another one who is 13 appearances, an average of 7.47. Um, tackling win ratio of 90%, pass ratio of 90%. He has been in the league absolutely, yeah, phenomenal. He came in as maybe, or maybe he'll he'll be good to have around and he, he can fill in here and there when others get tired. He's he's forced himself to be the starting right back for us. So in the in at the back we've got uh, Osho, uh, Elise Dan Jones is still going there as, as my left back. His long throws are still an absolute weapon for us. Um, then we've got Cole Jenkins at right back. Alternating between um, then Donker, we've got Jacko Okerson. Uh, came in on a free transfer, absolutely rated, and is doing well when he's coming in. Um, he's really just, uh, he's then Donker's understudy, he, he will come in and be the, the if then Donker's tired, he'll come in and replace him. But for one or two games, he's not really pushed himself on there. He's only 21, so he's, he's with us for a while. Uh, but he's been uh, good enough for us. The box-to-box -box midfielder, Kyle Dempsey, has made this role his absolute own. Again, free transfer, cost us nothing. Uh, 15 appearances, average of 7.1 in the league. Uh, pass ratio of 90% again. All these passing rates are really, really high. 86% tack, tackle win ratio. I can't ask for more than these guys. That They really are performing over and above what was expected of us. So, so yeah, Shadipo, like I said, came in from QPR on a free transfer. He's He's been okay. He, he's, he scored some goals. He's, he's, bear in mind, he's a winger. He scored four goals in 12 appearances for us. So, brilliant there. His, ratio, his rating 6.84. He's been declining recently, um, so it is one I need to keep an eye on and maybe swap him out and give him a little bit of a rest. Tactic wise, we are still going on the jigsaw. 4 1 1 3 1. 4 2 3 1. Bastardized. Um, scattergun. Just throw it up there and hope it works. Maybe. The wing play is being absolutely uh -huh. lethal for us. We, we are overlapping when we are in possession. Focusing down the wings, and then the fullbacks are overlapping, and it shows by the fact that Jenkinson is one of the highest cross crossers of a ball in the league so far. Uh, Dan Jones is is got ten assists, um, not it's just not just from long throws. His crosses are getting in there and causing these assists as well. So it's going really, really well. I honestly never expected to be. Um, First, I expected to struggle. I really did. The board are more than happy with us at the moment. They're an A+. I'm doing an unbelievable job and clearly they're the right manager for the job. They expected, at the start of the season, they expected us to fight bravely against relegation. Obviously, that's working well at the moment. They want us to reach the second round of the FA Cup. That's coming up soon. Be competitive. We made it to the second round and got knocked out by a higher league competition. So that's good. And then competitive in the Popper Johns. They don't care about that. I think I'm the only one that genuinely cares about that. So that's working well there. Defensively solid football they want. That's working. Possession football. Yeah, okay, I am playing sh um, shorter passing, passing. But it's not possession based. It's wing based. And I'm not going to change that. 
at all, I don't care. Um, make the most of set pieces. I'm playing for set pieces, it's not my fault if they're not making the most of it themselves, um, but they are very disappointed with that, I need to maybe uh, work on that a little bit. I'm selling people players for profit, I'm working with a wage budget, but they're not judging me on the contract. So all in all, it's going really, really well. This, this save, one season down, one trophy. We've got a really, really good chance to possibly get two trophies out of this second season. If we keep going as we are, we've got the League One trophy and then we've got, we're in a good position, I think, to have a play for the Papa Johns. We'll see as it comes on. Coming up in the next video from this, I mean, we've got this time out, we've, we've done uh, August, September, October. Coming up, obviously, November, December and January where we've got some big, big games. We've got a lot of games being played in November. We've got seven league games, the first FA Cup first round game and the Papa John's against Man City under 23s coming up. Obviously, may well have another round of, of the FA Cup in there as well because that's going to be turned through before we get there. So I don't know if that's going to be November or December. Um, big, 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 big game here. Derby, 22nd of November. If we can get a result away to Derby and push ourselves just a little bit further away from them, then then I'll really start thinking that maybe the promotion is on. After that, obviously, as we're coming back through, Derby again will be the last but one game of the season. I'm hoping one way or the other to have it sorted by then, but we will see. And that is where I'm going to leave this video now. And like I said, we are doing really, really well. Three months down, top of the league, four points clear. Um, we, we're still in the Papa John's. We've got a chance to go for that. And uh, it's going really, really well. Thanks, as always, guys, for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Comment down below where you think I'm going wrong. Any players you think I might be uh, interested in bringing in, then please, please drop them in there. I do read any and all comments that are in there. We are also over on Twitch. We've got Dave Goodger FM on the Twitch channel where we are currently have a journeyman save going in through South America. We're in season seven now. Season seven, we're on our second club. Uh, we've just won the second division in Chile. Uh, so we're on our first season in the Chilean first division. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. See you for now.